economical unless you actually have a couple of major failures it's pretty economical you keep your thing serviced change the oil on a regular basis keep the filters changed it's pretty cheap to run hydraulic systems they cost more to begin with but upkeep and stuff is pretty reasonable safety and safety can go both ways safety in most cases hydraulic systems are much safer because there's less moving parts you don't have a chain that you can get caught in or belts that can break and fly out um, you don't have drive shafts that are turning and so they're safe because there's a lot of less moving parts that you can get caught in at the same time hydraulics under pressure can be very dangerous and so if you allow your hoses and your hydraulic system to get deteriorated if they start to crack and get old or if they rub through and they develop a hole a pinhole can blast a hole right through your finger and you get gangrene high pressure oil injected under the skin will cause gangrene and it happens very quickly if you ever get it in your skin and it and it penetrates it you need to go to the doctor they have to physically cut it out and try to drain the hydraulic oil out. it is dangerous within a couple of days you'll have gangrene and so it's something that's why they said use a piece of paper don't use your hand it is very dangerous and a pinhole you may not see and that's why they say use a paper it might blow a hole in the piece of paper but you don't care or it'll hit the paper and you'll see the spot and so if you see a spot you're like whoa you put it back there you're like there must be a hole there and you may not even see it it can be a very small pinhole or it can be a big gusher where you have a big slice and it's like hose and you dump the whole reservoir in a matter of seconds so it just kind of depends on the size of the hole I got hit by a pretty good hole. <laughs> <laughs> I got sprayed with a bobcat. Schools. Was it hot? Blasted it just started. Oh. It got. It was warm. It took 50 minutes. <coughs> Disadvantages. <laughs> hydraulic systems, because you're converting from a mechanical system to a hydraulic system, typically back to hydraulic system, anytime you convert from one system to another, you're going to lose efficiency. So hydraulics is not the most efficient, but there's not that much loss. So the efficiency loss is, is not tremendous, but it is less than a mechanical system. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll take that little bit of inefficiency for the benefits that it gives me. The need for cleansliness. Hydraulic systems do not tolerate dirt. Zero. None. There's only one thing that can be in a hydraulic system that's hydraulic oil. And what is the definition of a contaminant in a hydraulic system? And that everything, will be on your test. Everything, everything other than oil? Anything but hydraulic oil is a contaminant. I don't care what it is. Anything but hydraulic oil is considered a contaminant. Whether it's water, dirt, metal, anything, grass, flies, anything but hydraulic oil is a contaminant. And any contamination in a hydraulic system is causing damage. It might be very small but it is causing damage so it needs to be changed so when they showed the film when we were looking at it they're looking at valves and they pulled the valves out hydraulic valves hydraulic motors hydrostats hydrostatic pumps they do not have any seals in them their seal is metal to metal in a thin film of oil keeping them from actually the two pieces of metal hitting and so it's just like an engine cylinder. You've got metal run there, and so the slight film of oil keeps it lubricated, keeps the two metal pieces apart, and that's the only thing that keeps the oil from going past it. The tolerances are so small that oil will not bypass inside of a hydraulic valve unless it's worn. Then you get leak down. Any kind of dirt that gets in there will cause abrasion and wear and cause it to wear out. It goes through a bunch of hydraulic facts, and I don't really want to go through those because we don't have a lot of time. You're going to want to read those because you'll see a few of those on the test. We're going to watch a film now. It's going to be on hydrostats. And if you want to look at one physically, here's a cutaway. This handle is the drive line coming from the engine. The engine turns two things. It turns a derotor in the front. We've seen a derotor in the first film and it turns the hydrostatic pump. The hydrostatic pump is going to direct oil to the hydrostatic motor that's in the bottom part of this. This is also the hydraulic reservoir. This is the same hydrostat used in the, to the uh, Toro 
223D. It's used in the out front rotary mowers, the 223D Toro mowers, plus a bunch of their other mowers. It's also used in John Deere's lawn and garden equipment. Manufacturers don't make their own transaxles. They buy it from a manufacturer. And so this hydrostat is used in probably 50% of the outdoor power equipment for quite a long period of time. It was a very common hydrostat. And so, and we're going to see this style in this hydrostatic film. When you look at it, we have slippers. This copper looking piece here is slippers. And they're designed to pivot. They're going to be on a swash plate. And we're going to see that if you actually take this apart, there's no seals in here. If you take this thing apart and look in there, these are just machined. And you have metal pistons riding inside of there. If you get any dirt at all in there, they'll wear. And the slightest wear that you can't even measure will cause these things to fail. And they will quit working. And so hydrostats are, they have to be impeccably clean. You just can't tolerate any kind of dirt. And so how you add oil to the hydraulic system is extremely critical. And what you do with that system is pretty critical. So I can't stress that enough in the hydraulic system. The thing you need to pay attention to the most is cleanliness, cleanliness, and cleanliness. It's got to be clean. And you also want to make sure that you do your preventive maintenance. And so when you do it, make sure you're clean about it, but do it on a very timely basis. Otherwise, you will have failures. And the failures are very expensive.